The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to show how vertical stretches work with a parabola. And uh, I've got graph the uh, y equals x squared graph. And you can't see two different graphs here. I've got y equals x squared and y equals ax squared. And that's because if a is 1, then this would be exactly the same as this. So I've got a slider here. I can vary the values for a. So if I start making the a a little bit bigger than 1, so notice that as soon as it's larger than 1, the, the blue graph, this y equals ax squared one, gets steeper. And the bigger I make the a value, the steeper it is. So if I make a to be 3, then uh, this graph is all the y values are 3 times bigger than the points that have exactly the same x value. So for example, let's say on this graph here, um, uh, let's scroll down. So there's the point 1, 1. If I find the point on this that has a x coordinate of exactly 1, see it's 1, 3. So notice that that is exactly 1, okay, it was 1, 3. I want to get back to it. So 1, 1. You see the y coordinate there is 1, okay? So if I find the x coordinate up here has uh, the same x, the the point has the same x-coordinate, notice that the y-value is three times as big. Um, so let's maybe make that a little bigger. Uh, let's make it four. It's four. Okay, so again, if I went back here to the 1, 1 point, then on this, it's now the point, uh, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, there it is, 1, 4. So the Okay, so I was highlighting two points that have the same x value, x value of 1. So notice that the y value of this one is now 4 times bigger, and that's because I have an a value of 4. So the bigger we make that a value, the steeper the graph gets. I mean, I've got it up to 8 here, so this is very steep compared to the original. Okay, so so that's called a vertical stretch, and, the, and we always we say the vertical stretch factor of 8, which means that the y values are 8 times bigger than points on the original curve that have, would have the same x coordinate. Now let's make, uh, instead of a bigger, let's make it smaller. Let's go back. There's 1 again. So I'm going to experiment with some numbers between 0 and 1. And so notice, okay, so there's at 1, they're the same graph. So as soon as I make a a little bit below 1, then this is, uh, it's, it's less steep than the original. And we call this a vertical compression because the y values are now smaller than the ones on this. So for example, let's go back to the 0.5. There we go. So um, on the original graph, that's the 0.24. Now I'm going to highlight on the blue graph a point that has an x coordinate of 2. And that would be right here. So notice that the y value here is 2. It's half as big because I made a a half. Okay, so again, there's the 2, 4 point. This would be 2, 2, 2, right there. And if I make it even smaller, let's go down to 0.1. Uh, there we go, 0.1. Okay. So, okay, so again, that was the 2, 4 point. If I find the point on the blue graph down here, Okay, that has an x coordinate of 2, then the y value should be 1 tenth of the 4. So let's highlight that point. See, 1 tenth of 4 is 0 0.4. See, if we take the uh, 4 up here, there you go. If you multiply 4 by that point 1, you get 0 0.4. There we go, right there. So now let's well, if we made a zero, it's a pretty uh, boring graph. It's just a horizontal line because zero times anything is zero. So it's just the line y equals zero. So now let's make a a negative. And so notice as soon as we make it negative, the graph flips down. And so this is called a reflection in the x-axis. Okay, so this parabola is opening down. Whenever that a value is negative, it's going to open downward. And this is kind of an interesting one when we make a negative 1 exactly. Then this is the exact mirror image of this. So for example, if I hi highlight again that 2, 4 point, let's go down here, see this would be 2, negative 4. So notice that the y coordinate here is exactly the opposite of the y coordinate right here. Uh, let's make it even larger. So if we make Oh, maybe we'll go to negative 3. There we go. There's negative 3. So again, um, 
negative three, it's uh, the fact that it's below negative one. It's the same rules as when I made like a positive three or four or five. It's steeper. Okay, so uh, this would be the same as the three graph above, except it's reflected in uh, the x-axis. It's upside down. If I were to make one more graph here, for example, equals three x squared. So so notice that the uh, purple one, the 3x squared one, and the negative 3x squared, they're exactly the same shape and size. Okay, They have the same vertical stretch, but they're just, re just reflections of each other in the x-axis. Okay, They're exactly upside down. So that's all the different kinds of stretches you can and compressions you could have. Um, if we make this, um, we would still call... Okay, so that would still be called a, uh, a vertical compression because it's less steep than the, the basic one. Uh, but it also, of course, has a reflection in the x-axis. It's flipped down. And that's the end of the tutorial.